Oh, there he is. Okay. Make sure we explore a little bit first. Leave no stone unturned. I hope that's still going. The Wi-Fi is crazy this morning. Sorry, everybody. Maybe if we're, uh... I don't know if she's listening. I think she's awake, so we can't say this too loud. Maybe in the second half of the year, if I'm still... If we're still doing this, maybe we'll, we'll go for uh, an internet upgrade. Because I noticed that dropping a lot. I'm not hardwired in, unfortunately. There's not a... There's not a good way to be both hardwired and in a good spot to stream which is too bad but and also we're in a split level house which I feel like would be hard to hardwire I never say never I suppose for the most part it runs fine but it's just like Every so often, it's finicky enough that it makes me want to do it, you know? Oh, is this that door from the other side? It's the one I found. This is it. Ooh. It's just a different space entirely. Excuse me. Okay, now I'm <laughs> now I'm turned around. Where was this? That regardless of if I'm looking through the gate or not, the door is unlocked now. I understand. Okay. So that wasn't the area that I was thinking of at all. There's another locked door. <laughs> Probably that one. <laughs> I think it is that one. Okay. Now we got easy access everywhere. I do need to, I think Ninja Theory made a documentary on how they like did the audio and visual stuff that I for sure need to check out because it's just so spooky. Oh, is this the first one? Wow, that is the first one. That's crazy. The Northmen say that Odin and his brothers killed Ymir and that the world of man was formed from his corpse. They made his bones into stone, and his flesh into earth, and his blood into the salt sea. They set his skull to be the bowl of the sky, and his brains for clouds. Odin and his brothers caught the sparks flying from Muspel, and made them into stars. And to protect the new world from the giants, 
They used Emir's great curving eyebrows as walls. It almost looks like the stream restarted because the Wi-Fi was so bad. Yikes. Looks good now. <laughs> so thanks for joining me if you're here. Yikes. Sorry. Very sorry. Alright. So now we can go under and there should be steps. Ah, it's so freaking cool. Line that up perfectly. Just so. Great. This is much better than... The fire guy was stressful. Because it was like, you'd have to interact with these totems. And then everything would catch on fire. And then there's like all these voices screaming. But like because of all the smoke, you only have a certain amount of time to get out, and I died way more often in that section than I would like, which is stressful on its own, because they don't tell you how many lives that you have, but you have a finite amount of lives before the game is like permanently over, and you have to restart. So I'll take these illusion puzzles any day. I was probably supposed to do this first. If only it were that simple. The worst kind comes A reminder that just because you cannot see the threat, it doesn't mean that it's not already here. Let's see if, hmm. Let's see if I can get through this door first. Let's have a checkpoint. It's worth a shot. She can't go in there. Worth a shot. I like the shadow trick. It kind of looks like everything's like deteriorating. Good lord, sir. Ugh. Ooh, not good, not good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's injured. She can come on, girl. Oh my god, that was so stressful. Okay. Network looks a lot better now. It's way more stable. I was looking at like 60% drop frames for the first chunk of that, so 
I'm much happier with the performance now. Oh, okay. Oh. And there's the next lore bit. The Northmen say you must sacrifice in order to receive. They tell how the runes were revealed to Odin only in sacrifice. He hung himself from the world tree, and he stabbed himself with a spear, and he dedicated the sacrifice to himself. For nine nights he hung on the tree without food or drink, and at last he saw the runes below him. He gave a cry and gathered them in his mind and learnt them. Then he fell from the tree. Oh. And that's all. That's all they wrote. Was there... No, I think that was... Okay. Yeah, that was just a... Combat room. Cool. We're gonna get to a point where I miss a story. I don't know what those are called. The lore pillars, and I'll be devastated. Because I'm not going back, but... Do I'll be whiny. Like to leave everything behind? Your home? Loved ones, to head deep into the wilds, perhaps never to return. Senua does, because when darkness speaks, it changes everything. Turning home into a foreign land and loved ones into strangers. Exile makes sense when you realize that you were never really home. Yeah, it's the lights on. Place. Lights are not on there. There's the next one. Oh, only one the more. I say that Odin is always in search of knowledge and wisdom and magic. There was a very wise being named Mimir who guarded the waters of wisdom which flow from the roots of the world tree. Odin wished to drink from this spring. But he had to pay a price. <laughs> so he gouged out his own eye as offering to Mimir. He drank from the well and traded one way of seeing for another. This is going to be tricky. I think the whole. I would assume the whole sky is going to be lit up in these symbols to try to line up. This area is huge. Yeah. Okay. Take it, we're not jumping that. I should have done the fire guy second. I made this so hard on myself for no reason. I'm up there? Nope, I guess not. Alright. Man. 
Yeah, dang it, that's gonna be tough. Deep breaths. There you go. The song. Bell Raven. Bell Raven's song. It's over here. It's Man, that's a lot of light for me. It's over there. No, it's here. There's two. Miss Sun, focus. Miss Sun, focus. It's magic. It's magic. This reminds me of somewhere. The forest. Now maybe, <laughs> maybe early morning horror games aren't the best idea, but I also feel like it's the only time. She wanted to fight her own darkness. She thought she could beat her own. Did she beat the darkness? No. It nearly killed her, but she tried. No, okay, so that's that's there. She can't beat her own dark. I don't think there's a. She wanted to marry Dillian. Should I? Ugh. But she thought. She thought her curse would affect him. She thought her curse would spread to him. Hmm. She thought she'd bring the darkness to him too. She nearly died. She thought the curse made her tainted. Druth helped her. Is there something there on the other side that I'm not seeing? Doesn't look like it. I'll try the other one, because I'm not really sure. I don't know what I'm missing. Look that first chunk. Yeah, let's just do this first. Okay, so there's a beam there. That isn't there normally. So we'll climb over that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just do this. We'll have to do both anyways, right? That was another thing with uh, the fire guy. You can't just walk across those beams. You do actually have to balance because I <laughs> dropped her into a pit of fire, trying to escape some smoke. Hmm. So we get back over here. Oh, he's... Yeah, that's what it was. He's up there. Our way up there. There we go. Okay. The ravens. They've gone. No. Half of them have gone. They've gone. Oh, okay. So we pass through the two gates. And then in doing so, that filters out all of that. Okay. And cold winter woods. She no longer felt fit for this world. She almost gave in to the darkness. Almost. But she remembered Dillian's words. She remembered her promise. She resolved to fight on. And kill that which had become part of her. Knock this bridge over. So it's a little shortcut. I have a shortcut there. Oh, there we go. That bridge not nice. Okay, that gets us there. 
Honestly, I prefer these illusion puzzles to the other rune lineups. Open it. <laughs> Leave me alone. that over. Oh, that was that. Okay. And this bad boy up. Knock that other bridge down. We'll be good there. Pretty sure I already stepped through that. I would think that I wouldn't be able to get through here if that was the case, right? Okay, so I'll jump down that. Maybe not necessarily jump up that. can't make that. Oh. oh! Okay. So there's no fall damage. Which is good. The last one. So satisfying to finish those. The Northmen say that Odin has two ravens. Their names are Thought and Memory, and each day he sends them out to fly all across the world. Upon their return, they perch on his shoulders and tell him everything they have seen and heard. In this way, he learns of things and that far looks like and wide. must be a short chapter Before after that reason, to only have two, um, the Raven God. two markers. Senua, the rest of them like don't. Odin, you must seek wisdom through Thought don't look that memory. way at all. Everything else has like five, four, six. So we'll see what it looks like after we beat these two bosses. Okay. So I'll have to go back, walk through the gate, which will reveal a bridge up top, and then we should be good. That's okay. See, I was thinking I revealed a wall. I actually wanted a wall to go away. So now I can walk on top of it. It's like they know what they're doing. All that noise go away. The ravens. How freaking cool. Where are they going? She did it. What does it mean? Looking back. I was so naive to think she could banish it on her own. The further she saw into the darkness. I mean the more she struggled to see anything at all. And the glow. The smallest hints of shape, sound, or thought. In strength until they consumed her whole. Before she knew. Now the final the test. Had her in its or should I actually stand to get this done?
I wonder if I should, I'll just try going up to the front of the gate and see if that's good enough. That would be a nice break, right? No, of course that would be too easy. Maybe go back up to where the Falraven was taunting and see if that works. Give that a shot. I feel like I'm slowly sinking into this couch, but I don't think I can bring the mic any closer to me. I'm trying to have good posture while eating the microphone a little bit. There we go, right? Perfect. Such thing as victory when it comes to the darkness. It's like it doesn't want to kill them. You can have a little positivity. Yeah. You know? Oh no, at her. Biding its time. Only when she is at her weakest will it strike to kill. Will she find All right. Wish me luck. Before her time comes. Actually, copy. Finish the last of this, we'll get the boss, and then we'll take five for a coffee break. I should have, should have a little more in there. And I need it, for sure. Okay, what you got for me, scary man? I know you don't have lore for me, at least. Oh. Okay. Actually. Oh, that's all you had to do was do D pad down for photo mode. Reading. Hmm. Problem is, is I'm not that tech savvy to uh, maybe I'll just take I'll just take a screenshot, you know. I do want to frame it right. No, that might be the right way to frame it. Lightning would have been better. Let's see if I can get some lightning. <laughs> I can't get that. We'll just leave it alone. Overcome Valraven's final illusion to face him in his keep. I do another one. You have the sight. We both see the darkness. Haven't I suffered enough? Is like, I guess that's the point. That's hard to see what I'm doing. What do I gain from that? Oh, okay. Like tree root growth or something. That I can climb up there. Speak to me, Drew. Tell me a story. Senua, listen. I will tell you the tale of a man called Findon. The Northmen captured Findon's sister, and his father sent him to pay for her release. But they took his gold, 
put him in chains, and held him for a day and a night without food or water. Then they released him. I don't know. I don't know why. Do you want to visit? Upon his return, his father's enemies in Aaron just set haze. fire to his home. His father burned Hi. to death, and his brother was killed. But he escaped with sorrow in his heart. You can't go under the microphone. I'm his sorry. His father's enemies offered redress for his loss and invited him to a feast. It was at a hall near the sea. But when he went there, they betrayed him to the Northmen, who enslaved him and took him to hell. Six years later, his slave masters landed on the shores of Orkney, burning all before them. And into that fire, Findon made his escape. What was Findon burnt away that day? But from the flames, a new man... Not knocking over from that side. And drew. Let's see what the gate shows born. us. Drew. The man that I am now. Oh. And though Findon never set eyes on his dear sister again, I, Druth, have found you, Senua. I wish you could have seen my home before these dark times. Oh, okay. Not much to the imagination on that one. doesn't seem like you fall over on any other beam but that fire one, which I don't appreciate. Okay, that's unlocked. Missing something else now, though? have to be, right? Should I just have jumped down from there? Can I even do that? No, I can't. Hmm. So what else is... hmm. Okay. I don't know. Figure it out, obviously, but... Anything back here? No. Huh. I had to miss something over there. There's no way. So there's those steps. Oh, that was the gate. Okay. And this is the loop around. Hey, good morning. How you doing? How's your Saturday going? Hey! Good morning, everybody. Thanks for following. Dusty Volt. Hmm, are you from Threads? Your username looks familiar. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. I knew it. I knew I recognized the name. Good morning. If you guys have played Hellblade f before, I could actually use your help because I'm a bit stuck right now. I am enjoying this game very much. Um, this is my first first playthrough of it. Um, I am. We're pursuing the uh, the Val Raven right now, uh, so we have to like line up line up these symbols which up until now has been going amazing. Um, 
but I am a bit stuck at the moment. But it's it's been incredible. Like the audio design is unbelievable. Like it's so creepy having the whispers in your ear. Maybe I should pass through that. To Aha! I figured it out. That's only because you're here. Um, but the audio design is is incredible, and I cannot believe the visuals look this good still. Um, I think this game's like seven years old, so it's like amazing. That's okay. We figured it out. We don't even worry about it. What do you got going on this weekend? What are you guys plan? Oh. Raven's Nest. Oh, okay. There we go. We got it. We figured it out. It's only because you guys are here that we figured this out, though. So, I appreciate you joining me, because I was <laughs> I was hopelessly wandering around for about ten minutes prior to the... Ooh. You look at the keyboard for a second, and you get jumped. Busy in the garden. Yeah, it's it's yard work time. Time on Frog Island. I've not heard of that one. I love barbecue. And I'm definitely trying to get into the Fallout TV show this weekend. My wife does not play Fallout, but I've played 3, New Vegas, 4, even a little bit of 76. So I'm like super, super psyched for that show. I've heard nothing but good things about it. Sleep back into the maelstrom, drowning the mind in fear. Deeper, deeper. I'm in the states, so we um. I don't know if you had the crazy weather the last couple. We've been we've had a flood warning for several days, so we'll get to delay the yard work for just a little bit while it's swampy. In the darkness, and she remembered what he told her. Hear me, reach out to me, Senua. Take my iron mirror. Look into it. For it is a window into the underworld. Yeah, a mirror. Within. Little in the game. The oh, never played Fallout, but trying the Fallout show, huh? Focus. Like I have taught you to. You will also <laughs> see that as much as the darkness has you trapped within its veil. It too. I think everybody has. Have you played any Bethesda games? Or was that just the one? Because I for sure had that with my first Bethesda game, which was um, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. And I like stepped out of like the prison area. That's how you get introed. Ooh, there we go. Um, and I, I returned it. I was so overwhelmed. I feel like your first Bethesda game is just, it can be wonky. It can be challenging for sure. Oh. oh, it's that. Okay. Sometimes that rush works, sometimes it doesn't. Ugh. That is so stressful when there's more than one guy. They give you a little bit of an audio cue, but ooh. There we go. Here we 
go. Come on. Come on. So that's that's when I should be dodging in the future. Come on. Woo. Ah, shoot. Let's go. Come on, what you got? Nothing. Oh, okay. That was my, that was my fault. I asked for that. Woo! She's nearly there. Oh, where'd he go? Oh no, no, thank you. I do forget often. I think it's just in the boss fights, but um, to use the runes to actually like slow stuff down, I think you get like three charges. And I forget to do it all the time. No, thank you. Ah. I have a little faith in me, voices. Okay, I'm getting stressed now. There we go. Why are these guys so strong? Come on. Let's go, let's go. Okay, and we built up a charge, which is good. Oh, okay. And get me with that. Come on. Ooh. All right, well, listen, if I could teleport, you know. Come on. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, he can get through that. Come on. I thought I got him. Joke's on me. Here we go. Please. We did it! First try. But not this time. And in shorts all day. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, I missed you. That was the combat's so stressful. Okay. What do we got? Super hot. Been in shorts all day. Yeah, we're about. We're only like 50 degrees right now, so it's a little chilly over here. to the gate to Helheim. Hold it. I've seen a ton of people downloading Fallout 76 lately, so with every battle, the I think there's your results may vary with that one, but I know they're doing the next gen update for Fallout 4, so defeat. that might be a good one to get into. I um 
that one takes place in Boston, and I have a ton of family in that like New England area. Um, so that one's like cool to see a couple landmarks. I always do. They do a nice job with the Fallout games of like showing you some like post-apocalyptic places in the states. So it's cool to visit. Kind of gives you that um, like an Assassin's Creed vibe, getting to visit all these like awesome historical places across Europe. I've always really really enjoyed that. But um, but I stream twice a week now. Um, so I do Tuesdays. 8 p.m. Eastern, um, and that one is usually a Fortnite stream. Um, I've really enjoyed doing like a multiplayer stream with like friends and family on Tuesday nights, and then um, Saturdays, 10 a.m. Eastern, I've been doing a, a single player game just just for me. Um, so I've enjoyed that. So yeah, we're just we're just doing twice a week because um, I, I do work full time. Um, I have a I always want to call it a nine to five, but that's not true. We have eight to fives here. Um, but so I do that. Um, I play a lot of recreational volleyball um, and then hanging out with my wife and friends and stuff. There's not a ton of time to do it, but two two days for a couple hours is is doable for me now. And, and trying to keep up with like putting putting clips and stuff from the streams out on like YouTube and TikTok and stuff. So it's been good so far. When are you streaming? When she was younger, she would lay in the grass and stare at the clouds. And then she saw them. These areas are so much prettier after you finish the boss. That's the part that's cool, because like... Shifting. I fought a fire guy and then this illusions guy and like these areas are so much creepier before you kill them and then once you kill them it's like nature heals it's really neat Caves. Somehow we're supposed to make our way there. Hell HQ. I wonder. Good morning. Can you see the faces too? They're there. If the household has awoken. No, I appreciate you hanging out. Good luck with your yard work. Enjoy the time with your family. Thanks, have a good weekend. Senua, you have the sight. Just like I do. Once you can see into the underworld. Are you the making? Underworld and all what the you making? It smells good. Ah. Don't be afraid when they speak to you. I will always be here to guide you. Oh, Did really? You see her? Like, seriously? Oh, no! That was her mother, Galena. Okay. She was a priestess. And first aid. A healer. Okay. Yikes. She taught Senua to see the weave that binds the world together. And it was beautiful. <laughs> I don't think any of them picked up on the mic. I don't think you can even. I don't think you're on camera at all. But. Uh. Senua still sees her face from time to time. The wife woke up and made a bagel and immediately sliced her hand open. So that's how her morning's going. She's still watching over.
And then we got, I know we got all the lar, the, the lar, the lore stones for this area. So we killed the two bosses. Should open up the gate here. But obviously I think I'm only on chapter three of 10. So we'll see what goes wrong from here. With the mark of Valraven and the mark of Surt, you may cross the bridge over the river of knives to Helheim. Oh, so I think we can just push it open now. Cool. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Don't open the gate. She's done it. So dark. It's dark. The dark. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Only the dead may cross. Here, but me. Not you. Did you think that I would let you go? That you lost me back in the wilds. I will never let you go. God get rid of me. I am your shadow. And I will be watching when you draw your last dying gasp. I'm not ready to die. You will be when you see what they did to your dear beloved. Oh, so this was before. And banish your fears. But in darkness they came. Through stormy black seas they raided these shores. Do you still hear his screams? And now, that you're home, he's so far away. They've taken his soul to these gods you cannot pray. They can break you, but not your promise. Even death won't keep you apart. Through his darkness you will find him in your sword still beats a heart. He fought for love unspoiled Ooh. by your darkness within. You fought for your dreams. Now there's no way to win. I don't know if I actually share that screenshot online. Lies the seat of man. So you must carry his vessel to bring him back home. Oof. Freaking brutal. The darkness touched you. Everyone could see it in the hollows of your eyes. A gaze averted from life. 
You ran from it, but brought it nearer. Led it to him. Oh. An endless suffering. She like evolves into a scary lady. And you wanted to surrender, abandoned to find peace with the gods. No. The darkness won't allow it. So you will walk into the lair of the beast. You know these people stay for a bit and leave. Oh you yeah, I mean that's eye. that's how it goes. It doesn't bother me at all. If you're hanging out, thanks for hanging this out. Is your you know. Mission. This but is your this quest. is mostly mostly to try something new this year to learn something. Everybody's got their own. Uh, you know, we're all busy. We all we all got stuff going on. I don't mind it at all. If you're hanging out with me, I appreciate you. If you gotta go, I still appreciate you. It's all good. Skyrim I have put a lot of time into. Probably like 200, 200 hours or so. Um, and I really don't care to replay games. That's like... Um, I don't really like um, consuming any kind of media like a second time. It's like I don't really like rereading books. I don't really like rewatching movies. Like part of the joy of it for me is not knowing what's going to happen. So pretty pretty much anything that I would play that's not like a multiplayer game obviously would be like a first time playthrough because that's just not you know a lot of people love to do that but it's just not how I typically play games Oof. especially like with books it'll be like I feel like the first time if I open up a book again that I've finished I'll get through like the first chapter and it's like, oh, I remember everything that happened. And then that kind of takes, takes some of the, uh, the magic, the excitement out of it for me. Oh, I've like, I beat Skyrim like when it came out, like that wouldn't, that wouldn't be a stream one. Cause I remember that, that came out my freshman year at college. I think that's 2011. So I put, I put hundreds of hours in it in the dorm so but would always be a single player stream on um saturday mornings and then um tuesday evenings would be a, a multiplayer stream um so hopefully i finish this one in time for hellblade 2 to come out and then i would i would likely stream that one as well but um stellar blade on uh totally unrelated but stellar blade on the uh, playstation looks really really good too so i might stream that one uh as well, if I finish this before Hellblade 2 comes out, then we might move to Stellar Blade, and we'll see. Are you a big Bethesda fan? End it. No, this is nearly the end. Oh, it got so dark. What happens? Every gate you open into darkness brings another. Whoa! That's a big boy. feeling I'm not going to be able to counter a guy that's this big. Oh, I 
was gonna say I, oh wow there's a lot of guys I was getting the feeling that I was surrounded Get rid of first, probably him. Oh. Oof. Stressful. Where am I? Where am I going, though? Oh, there's a door. Okay. That's a oh. Duh. So we got three runes to work with. And a door that won't open. The journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Okay. Align yourself to its secrets. You will find yours. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd, and is challenged by the giantess. Right, so this is a short chapter then if we've only got two, two little lore stones to find. Spooky. Oh, okay, so I don't go that way at all. Hmm. The door open now, maybe that I no. Where was I supposed to find stuff? Oh, okay. So I wasn't supposed to go far at all then. Oh, there's an X. Okay. Does that count? Counted for me. It's got to be it, right? Be afraid to uh, holler and give me a hint if you. Uh... We'll come back to this one. Cause I don't know. Yeah, if you if you played this before, if you have an idea, give me a holler. Let's see if there's something else out here that we can. Some sort of weird illusion there. I 
You can like see something distorted. Oh, is that it? Hey, there we go. Isn't that working? You can't tell me that's not it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's the X. Can we make that a Z? Kind of. Say, come on, that's it. You can't tell me it's not. That's it, man. I don't know what else you want from me. That's very irritating. Hmm. up with this I wonder hmm. I'll have to get up there eventually obviously but yeah man What you want? That's not what you want. Hmm. All right. I need more caffeine. And if I'm being honest, I'm a little annoyed. So we're going to take a quick five. We're going to let the dogs out. We're going to recaffeinate. We're going to center ourselves. We're going to come back. We're going to crush this puzzle. So, we will BRB.
All right, I think I'm a man of my word. I think we just took five minutes. And we are back. Oh, I missed my coffee. Hang on. I lied. <laughs> okay. Now we're back. With a renewed, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We got our coffee. Coffee's hot. Cheers. We're now caffeinated. Took a breather, because I won't lie to you. It's getting a little irritated. So now we're good. Bring the mic up a little bit here. Let's see what we can make happen. So this is clearly not working. I keep pointing out this thing. So I'm gonna go back down and see what we can do. That's gonna trip me up every time. That did not feel, that's why you take a break sometimes when you're getting frustrated. That did not feel clear to me at all when I was first down here. Okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. But I don't appreciate getting faked out down there. They're like, yeah, if you just, you know, you're in the right spot, just stand there, no biggie. Which is a lie. Oh. Uh, not quite. He'll accept that, but not... I don't approve of that at all. I for sure, <laughs> I had that same angle downstairs, whatever, whatever. We got a lore stone back here, Are we hiding anything from me? I hope so, I only need the other one. face. Creepy. Oh, Senua. Your father does not hate me. He just fears the souls in the underworld. He cannot see that they are already afraid. But I am their healer, and I must answer their cries for help, even if it displeases him. Huh. I don't think that counts as the lore stone, though, but... We'll take some family history. I will, at least. Let's see what's down here before we keep pushing. that stone. Oh, yeah. That stone. Nice. I can feel them. I can sense them. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls. High are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sickbed. 
and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh, and her face menacing and grim. Alright, so we got the chapter 4 lore. Beautiful. Oh, no, nope, this way. Fix the stairs. I'm really surprised that that's like a way to solve stuff going forward. I would have thought that that would have just been with um, the Vol Raven. So I'll have to keep out for that. Keep a lookout going forward. That's what that other beam's for. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Probably could have solved the puzzle, read the thing, and came back, but, you know, I didn't know. Never want to miss something, you know? I'd rather backtrack if it means I can get all my little collectibles. Because we're not replaying, like I said. One and done. <sighs> okay. A break was good. I wouldn't be able to. The gate is opening. Oh, Hella. Who is it? It's coming. That song again. So whose voice was deep and growly then if it was the source of the darkness? It's coming. This is your moment. So that that voice can't be Hella then. Oh no. I'm sorry. I can't watch this. The narrator leaves me. What are you doing? You're showing weakness. You're not a warrior. You're a disgrace. The gods will punish you for this. Pick up the sword. Pick it up. Fight the I darkness. Fight yes, it. Get up. Get up. Get up and fight. Let's go. I guess not. <laughs> Had things go better. <laughs> Stormy seas and lost souls. She's dreamt of this before. They say dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears. Excuse me. As seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? world shaped by Senua's nightmares. Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through her eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You fail the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Curse. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates us. 
Sika. The shadow hates. Look at you. Oh. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there is no one left to do that for you. Everywhere you What's that? Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken and lost. Just Do like it. your sword. Do it. Come on. There. What are you doing? Oh! Is that to like cauterize that? That's brutal. When you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why go on? Is it really I'll have to look out for that scar in in two. Well, we just see if that stays. Honest answer that we do not dare pose the question. Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. Song. It's not real. It's true. It's not real. It's real. Listen to it. She can't Dillian. give up. Dillian. 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 It's not like this. It can't. It's not real. It is real. It's a trick. Don't trust it. Maybe you're already dead. Who are you? Do you still believe in me, Sharon? There is, there is something about Please. him being named. Man, I got the heckling voice from the game last night still. Um, it, it, her partner's name being Dylan always gets me. I feel like that's very much like, um, like in Dune, he got all those fancy names and then like the main character's name is Paul. Or like Jason Momoa's, you know, Duncan Idaho. You know, she's Senua. There's Druth and the Vol Raven, and then Dylan. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's where I was. Wow. They did a really good job of... I don't know. I felt like I washed away. You know? She just fell off the bridge. Anything this way? No, nothing that way. It's okay.
Hang in there, girl. You got it. You got it. Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands. Now you can kind of see the distortion there. Oh, no way. That was her world. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. At least we can move quicker now. That's nice. No side steps though, is that? That's a neat way of showing that she's injured though. I can't like dash to the side anymore like I used to. It's like we can move forward now, obviously, to to get us through this, but that's a clever way of being like, nah, she's she's still hurting. We'll have to keep an eye out for the lore stones, because it looked like there were a fair number of them. Just based on what I could see in the uh, patterns of the other ones, I have to assume there's like 10 chapters to the game. And I think the beach is chapter 5, so we're in the halfway point. I think, I think that's right. goodies out here. Oh, I guess not. Take in the scenery. Well, there was this one side path over here before we... You're not catching me with the shinies. I got my own shinies to find. There will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home, and it does not ask you to swim against it. So not a lore stone, but we'll take it. I don't think that was her mom either, so I wonder who that is. Somebody else in her village. Way out there. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the wow. first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved as if dancing. And the world danced with him. The gloom lifted. And for the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. Please be the first one. Oh, thank God. Okay. 
The Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigmund. I wandered for so long, I didn't know. was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother-in-law, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. Alright. First one. Got ourselves a door puzzle. Probably go do that first and then after I check out this little cave, right? You gotta. Oh, okay, nothing there. Just a storm drain. Alright. Oh, another one. Nice. So soon. Death for Sigmund and his brother seems certain. But the king's wife is Sigmund's sister, and she begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she-wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. I can't wait to find out. Four more, so this must be a long chapter then. Or, there, well, I guess I could just be close together, but I think that's the first chapter that I've had six of them to find. Is there not a rune for me to inspect on that then though? Or do I just have to make my way to the tree? I guess so. Hmm. Is he still dancing out there? No, he's gone. Interesting. Okay. So we'll make our way to the tree before we hit the gate, I guess. See what happens for us. I didn't see a path down there. I mean, I know I can just walk under the bridge, but... Interesting. Not that way. This way. Well, there's a ladder. What if I missed something? Maybe there was a way to climb down, I just didn't see it. Oh, shut up. It was right there. I can't imagine why I have a hard time with the rune puzzles. <laughs> what else we can find. Give me the lore. 
away, but Sigmund holds on, the chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs him. So she sends her sons to him, but their blood is weak and corrupted. And they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches him. One that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Cold of heart and pure of blood. I do appreciate those because it's a it's like a built-in um built-in water break for me. While he talks, his voice sounds much nicer than mine. Not that. Must have been. Yep. Okay. Cool. Just checking my bases. Just being thorough. Thorough as one can be. Okay. So no matter what, looks like we crawl through here. climb up there. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Ah. Wish Learning how to fight because of him. Stretch out to last forever. By snooping. Can't hide from me and feel it. Sigmund's sister trades shapes with the sorceress and in disguise. Guess this chapter isn't long, it's just they're close together. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjordli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy and finds him strong and fearless. And so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not. Side. They're captured, and Sigir has them buried alive. Oh. I like the ringing got. That's for sure a trick. Take the screenshots, man. Welcome back. There is a particular game. Honestly, I should probably purge the screenshots because it's uh, it's called Planet of Lana, 
Um, I think it's getting like a full, like a multi-platform release here um, at the end of this month. Um, but it reminds me of like Inside or Limbo. Um, it was a Game Pass game last year and man, I took an obscene amount of screenshots in that game. Just really neat art style. But also like this game is, the art direction is unbelievable. It's like almost a compulsion. I like see something, it's like, God, gotta get that picture. What's your name? Oh yeah, Planet Alana? Senua. Man, I, it's Senua. like every single scene in that game is like worthy of being screenshot. Oh. Yeah, you're my people, man. Wait. Loved that game. Like that. No one. <laughs> no one. Well, I I watched you, and you learnt all of that from watching me. <laughs> I haven't tried Dredge. That's um, that might be oversimplifying it. Is that the? Is that like the horror fishing game? It's kind of got like a pixel art style. Am I thinking of the right thing? And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel. Wow, safe. that is a stark difference. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have. Or a fishing game. Of it. And darkness. Okay, listen. I mean, if you're, if you, if, if I've got you for Hellblade, if got, you, if I've got you for Planet of Lana, I will take your recommendation on Dredge for sure. Her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. Senua knows that there's no the audio in this is insane. Like, that there's nothing. I, I want to say that I feel like there is a documentary for this game i think ninja theory put something out and i need after playing this like man, i need to watch it like i need to know who they worked with to like just design how this feels i'm not gonna let him rot here you're the one rotting here leave me alone you will die here no and all your suffering will have been for nothing Shut up! Yes, especially with the headset on like I think I think when you boot the game up it encourages you to do headphones and I feel like you're really doing a disservice to yourself if you're just like using your TV speakers because it is it's crazy. I feel like especially I don't know who that that's a newer voice now. Um, he popped up I think when when you were out but like it it like vibrates in my ear like his voice is so like bassy and gravelly like it's awesome I am sniping out these lore stones I am determined to oh I guess that's not a lore stone Ugh, call me a liar I'm trying to get them all all of Juice narration. Wow, I really got duped there. Played myself. Wow, oh, favorite game. Hmm. Could probably give you a couple RPGs. Um. Like I would say, like my comfort game is like. Um would be Fortnite actually. Um, that's just something I can always go to like with my family, with my friends, whatever. Like it's a, it's almost like a phone call for me, like playing that with them. Um, so that one's always amazing. But like my favorite games are for sure, like the, the big fantasy RPGs. Like I love fantasy just as a genre, if it's movies, if it's books, TV, video games, whatever. So like I'd put Dragon Age Origins up there. That one, that one feels like, uh, like I'm reading like a Lord of the Rings almost, but I'm like playing it. Like I am in Lord of the Rings with that game. So I love Dragon Age Origins. Um, probably do maybe some CD Projekt games. So like Cyberpunk 2077 now, like the 2.0 version um, and The Witcher 3. Un unbelievable games, just awesome games. 
I have a hard time finishing them often, but like I, I really crave those experiences that I can like lose a hundred hours in. I do, I will burn out on them eventually, unfortunately, but I'll, I'll come back after a while to finish them. And the Assassin's Creed franchise too. I would have to give a shout out to, um, there's one. I used to be quite the history buff as well. Um, so I always, always appreciated their attention to detail with that stuff, but shorter game. So more like a Hellblade would be, would be more your preferred experience. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. But she oh, sir, Baldur's Gate 3 is not a short experience, but it is Avenger. so much fun. So I'm much fun. Live, she said. I'm like 70 hours deep and I just started Act 3, so... Strike vengeance. I'm loving that one as well. As there is always a heavy price to pay. <laughs> That's like 30 hours per act is what it what it feels like. That is a doozy. I do want to finish my first one. Uh, my first run of Baldur's Gate. I don't know if I'll ever really replay it because it is so long and there's just so many games. But I would love to do a second playthrough co-op because I do think that would be a lot of fun. Just messing around with your friends or your family, whatever. What class did you pick for Baldur's Gate? Yes, we got them all. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. But one day, an old man came onto the battlefield Although shadowed by a hood, Ooh. Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear. <laughs> Little gator and game. Sigmund struck at it with his sword, I also the chose sword a bard. Into pieces. This is crazy. This, this like-mind connection. That victory could not yeah, I've got a. I have a tiefling bard that I'm really, really enjoying. I like, particularly because of the solo experience. At least for me, I like being like the. And that her back son row like buffer debuffer like alternate healer kind of and then i can like send out like Grand. my warriors up front you know and i can kind of delegate i've never never done dnd &D myself either my the most experience i had with dnd &D before that was the uh D, D movie that came out like a year oh came out a year or two ago Okay, so we found all the lore. Can I work my way up this tree? I can. Ah, there we go. I don't know if that's supposed to be flickering like that. Take a sword. A sword. Hey! We, uh, while you were in the yard, we ran into Hela, and she, uh, destroyed our sword, so. We are in need of a new one. Man, that Garden Warfare game, I think there's all one and two. I was, I was surprised at the level of detail with those. I didn't play them, but I was, uh, anytime I saw clips of it, I'm like, oh, this is like legitimately Battlefield, like with the depth to it, which I loved. Because I played the Plants vs. Zombie mobile games. I had fun with those. It was forged by the god of all Northmen, Odin, and gifted to Sigmund, a great warrior. I need a sword. It's important. Can you help me? The sword appears whole, but it is an illusion. It shattered into shards long ago. It is said 
A great warrior can reforge Gramr by answering the trials of Odin, one for each shard. The roots of the tree of death will take you to new lands. Interesting. You face the trials. Okay. So act two of this game is building a new sword. Is this the shard? Hmm. No, I'm not doing something right. Oh, there it is. Oh, lots of stuff. Okay. Battlefield 1 is one of your favorites. I liked Battlefield 1 a lot. I liked the, um, I liked the way they did that campaign with, like, smaller, isolated, single-player stories. I had a good time with that. Honestly, I think the most fun that I had was actually um, Bad Company 2. I like that one a lot. That's, a, that's an old game. But I enjoyed that one thoroughly. Oh, so these things that I thought were lore stones earlier were something, at least. I'm not crazy. A king in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn. And it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels wrong. Oh. Where are we now? Whoa. Burial mound. So We're taken to a whole to different place. place. Death. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes, and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. Poke around a little bit before I go. The point of no return here is what that feels like to me. I guess there's not much to poke around. Okay, here we go. Take the torch at least, please. Now that's all distorted like crazy. Oh, no, thank you. No, I need way more light than that. Oh, man. Dillian, I'm here. I'm here for the trials. Like when we first met, remember? Can I light the... Can I light this? Looks like she's trying to light it. I guess not. Oh, He's hello. There he is. There he is. Finally, you found him. What's wrong? What happened? Can you hear me? Just wait there. I'll find you. Hmm. I feel strongly that I'm supposed to light this. Oh, there we go. I gotta push A. I was like, I I gotta do something with that. There's no way. That's how it came in. And maybe. 
maybe if I'm lucky, the torch gives me something. Hmm. Anything up there? Doesn't look like it. Maybe there's a torch to light in here that I missed. Let's see. Man, it is hard to see in here. Holy. Yeah, that's how I came in. This is a different spot. Okay. Great. We'll try to use the torches, I guess, to let me know if I've been somewhere before. Let's see what happens. Oh, so I'm in a new chapter now. Senua, you remind me of a story that the Northmen Short one, though. tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Herver, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Can't light that. I can light that. He's going to save you. Find the voice. Find him. It would be awfully nice to be able to sprint, though. I will say that. Interesting. I know I should follow the torch, but I'm compelled to go another way. Just to see. You know? Oh, so it must be an illusion. Okay, so I'll just keep following the torch. And now both ways are lit. Very spooky. Oh, there is a clue. Ah, different colored shields. Here we go. Here we go. If I do get hopelessly lost, Dusty, don't, um, don't be afraid to give me a nudge. I did light that one. So I've already seen that shield. So I feel like we'll try this way. It's not here. We told you. We told you. He's definitely getting louder, so I feel like I'm going the right way. And that's a different colored shield. Which is good. And neither way lit up though. But we should be making progress. So I don't hear him anymore, which we'll go this way and see if he gets louder. This looks promising. We don't like those. Oh, shows you what I know. Oh, no, there's a crawl space. Okay. Yeah, he's getting louder. This doesn't sound like Dylan. What's happening? Quiet. It's 
Warmer. <laughs> that would be handy if he shouted warmer. So scary. Okay. So I feel like that's like home base shield. I think that's what happened when I started, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Now I hear a cow. If the cow wants to shout warmer, that would also be fine. For sure, a cow. <laughs> Gotta like that. Oh. We might not be ready. Oh, we don't have a choice. Okay. It's pounding. I don't want to do it. I'm gonna do it. Dillion wants me to face my fears. Oh, we did it. Voice is dead. In my own way. I can see the darkness in your eyes, child. I met a boy. Boy. The chief and son. No. He said he could help me. It's a trick. He said it could be normal. Normal. Yes. I know that actor. No I, I can't think of his name, but I know he. Save you. Um. No one can. He's in a lot of video games, actually. I know he's in a movie, at least when one. See the rot no. inside you. No. Um, it's called The Witch, they will turn their back on which was a, a spooky horror movie. And then I know he does voice work in Final Fantasy 16 the gods can only and Diablo as well. Hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the gods. Wait, is that right? Senua was a staff member? Come, child. I didn't know that. Come. That's unbelievable. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. That's crazy. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Man. Ooh. All right, Dusty. Unfortunately, I think that's going to call it for me. I've been going for like three hours, which is about as long as I can do as I slowly sink into this couch. Someday we'll move into the office and we'll get a monitor so I can have everything all like set up. But I got to like build up and tear down my streaming set up every time, which is a bit of a doozy. So um if you want to stick around for a second we can raid somebody i don't know if there's anyone from threads that you also watch that's maybe streaming right now and we can we can do that um otherwise we will pick up hellblade again next saturday morning for me saturday afternoon for you right like a five six hour time difference um 
but yeah thank you so much for hanging out man i i super appreciate it every time every time someone from threads jumps in it it makes my day yeah nearly six cool well enjoy your dinner enjoy your family time i hope you got some good yard work done i'm gonna switch it over to stream ended and uh we'll take care of it have a good day man